back to Geek in the Kitchen. Today we're making the best chocolate sheet cake ever, according to my friend. And we're starting on the frosting because it takes a while. Please do not spill the chocolate. Yeah. See? Chocolate. Ah. It's melting. Okay. Let's get the cold stuff. I forgot what this is. You read the container. What's it say? Heavy whipping cream. And how do we open this? I don't know. Uh, right here. Pull. Pull that. See? Oh. Ah, just don't I've never had to open one Just of don't these squeeze before. the container because then you'll squeeze all the product. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, and then you got a humongous mess. Tell them how much you need. We need a four, one and a fourth of a cup of this. Can we have a little commentary from the, the cameraman? Yes. Why are you using dry measuring cups instead of wet measure? Oh, because we're tired. Because that's what we used for the chocolate chips, so we're just using the same thing. So, yes, for future, we need to use the wet measuring cup. <laughs> Close enough. Go get the other one. Go get the other one? This one? Yes. Yeah. Close enough. So it'll be slightly different. Just back in the fridge. It looks about the same anyway. Okay, I'm gonna put that in the And that is the high burner. I, that is the oh. That is the large burner. I almost turned the large okay, burner. Okay, so what are we doing with this? We are waiting for it to boil. See? Heat one and a quarter cups cream until almost boiling. Pour it over the chocolate chips while still hot. So that's why the chocolate chips are already going. Yep. Let sit for three minutes and stir. Chill in the fridge for 40 minutes. That's it? It's just... That's for the frosting. It's heavy cream and chocolate chips. Yes. Okay. It's just like... It's like chocolate whipped cream. All right, here's yours, here's mine. Oh, wait, do you want you? You know, chocolate whipped cream sounds really good. It does, and it looks delicious. Go show it to the camera. Why? That. Oh! Spatula. Drink closer. What's that from? Frozen. Frozen? Yes. Oh, okay. It is mine. So okay. Here's, here's our pan that we're going to cook in. And yeah. should we start on the actual cake? Well, that's up to you. It's, it's going to take a while. Yeah, but this... I don't right. know. This right now <laughs> I'm just juggling butter. This is the first time we've made this. I have no yes. idea how long everything takes. Okay, stop juggling the butter. <laughs> um... Why? Well, if you want to two-time this, then I would suggest, A, not using that spatula. Why? I don't think that's a silicon spa spatula, is it? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, right, then I would suggest moving done. the pan to the other counter next to the sink, and then use that space to do your, your mixing for the cake. Yeah, I'll do that. I got it. Oh, yeah, we got to get the bowl out. Yes. Cool. <laughs> okay, and then measuring cup thingy. Where is the? Why are there no measuring cups? They're in the dishwasher. I told you that. Yes, they are. Are they clean in the Actually, dishwasher? Actually, we might need the larger one. Let me check. Like I said, we haven't made this recipe before. In a measuring cup. We're doing a lot of that this weekend. The first part. I am. It says nothing about the size of the measuring cup. I've just used this one. Okay, what are we measuring? Buttermilk, beaten eggs, baking soda, and vanilla. Together. Observe. Right here. <coughs> in a measuring cup, pour the buttermilk and add the eggs. And stir it into the, uh, that stuff. Okay. okay. Half so let's combine flour, sugar, and salt. Uh, oh my gosh. Not what's happening on there. Here. Right over there. there. No, like those over there. Fine. That is where I'm handing it to you to go. This too. And the salt. Okay. Two cups of sugar. That is not... Okay. Let me grab a knife so I can level it off. We are not prepared. Close enough. It's like off by that much. I'll um, just overflow this one. 
Yeah, we need to melt butter too. Yes, we do. Mm. How much butter do you need to melt? Two sticks. Okay. That's what I was juggling earlier. It won't all fit in the. Uh, Not in the little one. No. I don't know if we're gonna need this. You have to use a the... use a one quart pot. Just put that there. We did not end up using the knife for this. No, you don't need it for sugar. You need it for flour. We, you know, we forgot one thing: the beaters, which I asked for you to bring. I don't think we brought it. Look at that. The tablespoons actually say heaping tablespoons. So you don't level it off. Yeah. That's because it's chocolate. You can never have too much chocolate. How much flour? Well, this is a fourth. Um, two. Or wait, no, this is a half. I gotta do four of these because uh, I couldn't, there wasn't a okay. second. We already used the one cup measuring yeah. cup, that's why. So, one. This is messy. Two. Now there's flour on the floor. That's why we wear an apron. Three, and the last one, four. Voila. Voila. And now we need the salt, which is over there. Let me just move the flour somewhere where it can go. All right, here's the, here's the salt. Please, salt do, please do not put it over that. Like What's going on with your cream? It's it's making its own steam. I think that's almost boiling, right? Yep. Okay, pour that over there then. I got the salt. Uh, I'm gonna do the salt over the sink. Okay, this is melted. Okay. Yeah, a little bit more says. Yep. In you go. Okay, go turn off the burner. Oh yes, that would be helpful. All right, there we go. Well. We can put the salt back where it belongs. And we're gathering utensils up there in case we need them. Mm -hmm. And now we melt butter. So we gotta let that sit for a little bit. No, you gotta let it stir first. Okay, move thing out. Oh, it says let sit, then stir. Move that. Moving. Why is this, this have cream on it? I did not ask to stir the cream. Okay, where's the picture I need? Right next to it. It's right there. Let sit for three and then stir. What? Just stir it, I guess. Let sit. Oh, okay. I've never. Okay. Okay. Usually stir things. We need to melt things. some butter. All right. Since we need two cups, let's use this one. Two sticks. I'm sorry. Two sticks. Isn't that two we cups? We are melting butter in this. No. No, one, is one stick is a half is a half a cup. Yes, yeah, so this is a cup of butter that we need to melt. That's a lot. Now the problem is the burner's already hot. Use the other burner. Using this one. It's too big. Too bad. Alrighty, this butter is very soft. It's not cold. No, okay. it's been sitting out for like. Put that hours. in there. Because that's used to butter the pan. Luckily, we don't have to do any precise measurements with the butter. Well, no, that's what the measurements are for that you would be using if it was. Yeah. Here's the butter. I'll just put it on this one. Put it on that. Turn that on high. No, not on high. That'll. Not on high? About three. Yeah, you don't put that on high because then you might, it might burn. How do you even burn butter? It turns brown. Yeah. Actually, wait a second. We already have a knife. What did you step on? I don't know, but it's sharp. A little barefoot Contessa over there. Ugh, look at that. It's already just, done. just let it do. Let it go. It'll, it'll be fine. That. We're going to need the uh, recipe I've got over here now. Ah, we need boiling water. I don't know how much water we need. We need like a cup, so I'm just gonna fill um, it up a while. Boiling water. One cup of boiling water. I don't know how to measure a cup, so I'm just gonna boil. Okay, it's on the it's right there. Let's say there. There should be a minimum. Fill it up to the minimum. 
it's in liters. Just, so, just, just. I don't know about You have to fill it up to the minimum. Whatever the minimum is. Just gonna fill a little past the minimum, just in case. Sure. It's not at the minimum. Water. Probably more water than we need, but who cares? Okay. We can make hot chocolate. Okay, it's past the minimum, finally. Hold on, we plug this in. And the cat is still bird watching. Okay, there that's ready. Uh, okay, so there is the hot water. Okay, so you There's now this. have... Has this been sitting for three minutes, probably? Oh, have flour and sugar and salt. I'll just use... Very liquidy. Um. Yeah, it just says okay, I'm combine. So we'll just use this. I'm going to take it off the burner. Oh, yeah, take it off the burner. Okay, right? Is that it right there? Okay. Okay, I was looking at this. It says to combine the flour, sugar, Why and Why is there salt. chocolate on the side? Because I scraped it off. As I was saying, I'm combining okay. the flour and the sugar and the salt. You don't want to use the... Because then you'll just end up with powder everywhere. I wonder if this bowl's big enough. That's what I always did wrong growing up. No, that's because you start with the cream and the sugar. In a saucepan, melt the butter. We got that. Add the cocoa and stir together. I have chocolate on my face. So we gotta do. Gotta... I splooshed it. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Can I like this spatula? No. Okay. No. It looks good. Okay. Uh, stop. A little help. You need this guy. And you have to make room in the fridge because there's no room. <laughs> there's more room than there was yesterday. Okay, will it fit up there? I highly doubt that. Okay, wait. You forgot to scrape this off. Well, oh, fully. Okay. Let me just wash my hands. Oh, here's another just fine mess you got me into. <laughs> okay. Yes, always make sure you have clean hands. Yes. Okay, so check on the butter. You can just use Back. the purple one. Okay. It says in a saucepan, melt the butter, add the cocoa, stir together. Of course, you gotta wait till it's melted. Anyway, this spatula is for the mixture over here. And we need it. I have a knife to do that with. Uh, you don't? Yeah. No, Anna, you don't use a knife. Sue, is spatula. the frozen uh, spatula a, a silicon spatula or is it rubber? Because you don't want I, it getting hot, just in case. That's why I use. I, that's why I put it over there. Yeah. Okay. I'm assuming it's a silicon spatula, but don't I'm not assume. Sure. Never assume. I actually melted a spatula once. It's Nordicware. Yes, I know. We had to throw away what you melted because. Well, I'd already melted. dumped it in the ice cream mix too. Ah. Making chocolate ice cream for, for I think the first time. I like the ice cream. Yeah, it was embarrassing. Okay. How's our boiling water going? Taking a while. It takes time. You should have okay, done that earlier. Wait. Look at this. Add boiling water. Allow the mixture to boil for 30 seconds and then turn off the heat and pour over the flour. See, we add the cocoa into that and then add the boiling water to that and, and then, then boil. boil it and then add it over there. Boiling water and boil. Yes, it's very confusing. <laughs> oh, it's almost ready. Okay. You know, doing thing? this on a glass cooktop, I'm a little uncomfortable with. Oh, uh, we used a different burner, remember? I know. That would have been really cool if we'd shattered the glass cooktop uh, on video. Eh, my, it's my don't turn. Don't jinx it. <laughs> yeah, really don't. It is almost ready. Okay, we're supposed to, you're supposed to beat the eggs separately? Oh my god. This is a very complicated recipe. I see. This is not as complicated as the last recipe. That one took forever. Tiger Lily is watching out the window with great intent. Yes, every time a bird flies by, she tries to catch it. Okay, half a cup of buttermilk. So we still need to get the buttermilk together. 
Yes, you want to do that? Okay. So the butter milk. Okay, I think the butter is melted. Buttermilk is this. You need to measure out the. Actually, hold on. Uh, you first have to of all, on the, the side. pot kind of moved. Let me just did get it? four oh, scoops of these. It says heaping, so it's going to be very chunky. Oh, that's very heaping. Four right. tablespoons. One. Okay, we need two. Buttermilk. It did not separate. Three. I don't think they mean that big a heaping. Too bad. It's chocolate cake. It's got to be chocolatey. <laughs> four. And there's cocoa powder on the stove now. So, oh well. For the buttermilk, we're using powdered buttermilk, so we have to make this into a liquid. Yeah. What do we do? That goes in there. Stir. Stir, yes. With what? A spoon. With this. That. Yes. You pointed the pot. No, I pointed at the red thing sitting on the pot. Ew. Okay. Oh, water's ready. Could you measure a cup for me, please? Yeah. So we need Ooh, to do... Ooh, look at this. Oh, shoot. What? Did you just spill? Yes. <laughs> what would you expect? I expect you to Would you like spill. to come over here and observe our beautiful whatever this is? I don't know what this it's is. It's chocolate. Our beautiful chocolate butter combination. I need a cup of that, please. Alright, just one. I do just not one. have a steady cam here, so if I come Right? Around. Is it one cup boiling water? Um yeah. yes. That's nice and smooth. Yeah. Which is what you want. Looks very good, and I would love to lift the spatula, but Okay, not yet. I can't do it standing up because you can't read the dumb thing. Yeah. Okay, there's your one cup. Let's read the instructions again just to make sure. Okay, and allow it to Ready? boil. What do you have it on? Didn't it say something like boil it for 30 seconds? Yeah, you're supposed to boil it. So let's turn it up so it'll boil. You sure that's a good Melt idea? Melt the butter, add the cocoa, stir it together. Add the boiling water, allow it to cool, allow it to boil for 30 seconds, turn off the heat, pour over this flour mixture. Okay, where's the, uh, the buttermilk come in? Buttermilk comes in after we pour that into that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so. You want to start preparing the buttermilk? Yep, so I'm going to do that in the same measure. Okay. Cut, you're done. Mm. Can I just pour this in or something? It has to boil. Yeah, it's bad. It's not boiling yet. It's, it's boil. not going to boil like water boils, Sue. It's steaming. And it smells yeah. very chocolatey in here. Yeah, it's it's not it's not going to bubble up like chocolate, uh, like, like water does. Is it done then? Yeah, it probably. It's going to boil for like 30 seconds, so. Okay, so turn it off. Take that off. Pour it carefully. Oh, let's get this guy this out of the way. The, the, whatever that is. It's called a whisk. Oh, I forgot, okay? Ooh, look at that. Come here. It smell of like birch chocolate. Mm. <laughs> mm. Two tablespoons. I don't know where to put this. I don't know where to put this. That's going over there now. Your new home. And now. The whisk is being inconvenient. It says to stir lightly. That's not stirring lightly. Oh. Use the whisk. Fine. Boiling water. Could you perhaps move that? For what? For making the buttermilk. No, just use milk. Just add the add the the buttermilk powder it to says the water. I know. I've always added it to milk. Alright. I got too many things in my hands. Don't add it to whole milk. I think you use regular. Yellow milk. If you told me to buy buttermilk, I would have done so. No, because then we would have Ooh, that's very chocolate. would have wasted. I could have made two batches of this. No. no, because I would have made buttermilk pancakes with real Ooh. buttermilk. Mm. As long as they're not whole wheat pancakes, I'm not no. a fan of those. Neither am I. This is hard. Can I just... Let's see. Let me come in here and take a look. What you got? Well, it looks like cake mix except for that spot yeah. right there. So, we use the spatula. Exactly. That's what Dang. spatulas are for. Oh, shoot. I just... There's chocolate on me. But what else is new? Oh man, this thing is very hot. And it should be. There's flour everywhere. You didn't have the kitchen light on. We I, don't need the light. I asked you to turn the light on. And you she, did? Yeah, I did. That's when. Twice. I asked you to turn it on. You can see it. And now we're needing it. Well, like how well, well she listened to Mama. I got good news for you. It's about time for Grammy to call. So since we're in the middle of 
cooking something, making video? something. You're right. <laughs> Sorry, Grammy. We love you. You can call anytime you want. We won't mind. I need the buttermilk mixture. I'm working on it. Oh, well, it looks like cake. Come here. Come here. Okay. There's chocolate on me. But what else? I see that. See? Ta-da! It's very hot. Yeah. Hold your arm up. Chocolate. Ha ha. I thought that was a cat scratch. I got chocolate on me because I. That's the other part. That. You got chocolate on your cat scratch? Close to it. Cat scratch fever. That looks very comfortable. Look. Why is it? There's chocolate. Again. Right there. Okay, please read what it says. It says to add that. To what? And. To the bowl, right? And we eggs. add beaten eggs, so baking now, soda, and vanilla to that. So now we need to get the eggs in here. Oh, eggs. crap. I forgot to get the eggs out. It's all right. So now they, no, they're going to be cold. The eggs you are know. not in their normal resting spot. The eggs are buried. <laughs> of course they oh, are. The oh, eggs are buried. Of course the eggs How many are eggs buried. do you need? Two. Okay. Oh, this looks disgusting. No, it doesn't, dear. It looks yummy. <sighs> The buttermilk mixture looks disgusting. Okay. Tastes making, great though. You're making a nice recipe. Or you're making a nice recipe. Please don't say something looks disgusting. It looks like chunky milk. Okay. That's what buttermilk is. Well, no. Buttermilk is chunky milk. No. <laughs> I hope that was off camera. something else and not in the buttermilk because they're supposed to be already beaten oh you know what and you have to look for shells yes plus okay. shells the one up. okay so all right what's something i can beat this thing to? um uh, no that's too small get okay. get us the small mixing bowl okay, out move move okay move this is what you beat eggs in this is a chili bowl I thought that was a carrot bowl okay we use it as a carrot bowl but it came with a chili set that we no longer have Okay, so now you That need... is too close to the edge for me. You need a fork? Let's just do it right here. Don't you need to be closer to the camera? The camera can come it's way over there. It's fine. The camera can come closer. Uh, did that. Here we go. Hopefully we don't need a yolk or anything. A yolk or just whites. I got some good yolks for you. I got a fork. Please don't. Okay, wait, wait. There's no shelf. I can see it. Sometimes the shell goes on the bottom. Careful. That's what nails are for. Yeah, but that's how you make the... There's eggshell under my nails now. Okay, so there's your fork. I'm going to go read the directions again. Did you come and look at this? Yeah. How yummy it looks. Doesn't it look good? Take Tastes look good, too. Tastes very, well, chocolatey. Because it hasn't been oh, stirred. Oh, yeah. Completely. Okay, so we're gonna need baking soda and vanilla. I can add the baking soda and the vanilla to the buttermilk. Yep. While we are baking waiting. Baking soda first. See, okay. by using a one teaspoon, is that what it is? Baking soda and vanilla. As Anna pointed out, you can use the powdered okay. before you do the liquid. Yeah, you know, she said beaten, not whisked. That's beaten. Okay. That's not a whisk you're using, that's a fork. Yep. A fork is just a non-fancy whisk. And then, one teaspoon. And it doesn't matter if you get too much vanilla. You can never have too much vanilla unless you actually pour the whole bottle in. Well, yeah, then that'd be a little overkill. Okay, so now, Especially if it was a whole bottle. Um, that fork you just threw away, so go get another fork. It's just sitting in the in the bowl. Okay. It's fine. She still needs to whisk it some more. It smells... Okay, the buttermilk, I don't the know eggs, like. the baking soda, and the vanilla, that's going to go in here. You might want to put the buttermilk mix back in the fridge. You're right. Bye bye, fun. Okay, then what do we do? Ta da. Here. 
You need to pass. You need to get all the stuff out. You gotta clean out the. Remove. Good to the last drop. Okay, stop shaking it. That's what this is for. Okay, are we gonna do that now? I don't know. There might it might be too. Uh, too bad. I think people just do it with a whisk. I well, she she wants to do it with that, so let's. Okay. That's quicker. Okay. Clean this out. You're in charge. Put those in there. Doesn't say what we're supposed to miss. All right. Meanwhile, I'm gonna butter the pan. It smells chocolatey. Oh, what's the? Uh, does that need to be chilled or anything? You know, I'm gonna read to see. Because you said you didn't want the oven on yet. You need to get the oven on, yes. And move the rack. That's why you gotta check. Let's go ahead it down lower because I was Take cooking this. ribs last night. What? No, that's for putting... I don't need that. Fine. It's actually supposed to go and make a sheet cake. But, yeah. that, but that, if you do a sheet that cake... That needs a lot of It people. makes, you know, the cake this big. So we're making a cake this big. Yeah. That's why we're not following the directions exactly. A good chef is allowed to improvise. I just hope it all fits in here, because that actually looks like it's going to be too here, much. Here, come here. And, and if the recipe is good, you can make slight modifications, changes, and you can even screw it up in slight ways, and it'll still be fine. Here. So, if it won't fit in here, we have to get another pan Look. out. Observe. We might end up with two cakes. Ooh, yeah. Look at this. I can dig it. So, if you come look over here, Mr. Cameraman. No, we don't need to look at that, Sue. Thyself. People know how to butter that. Yes, uh, do they know how to butter it with butter papers? Oh, God. I think it's pretty straightforward. Okay, let's whisk this again. Not whisk. Mix this again. You know, since Anna's wanting to do more and more baking, we do need to switch to a standing mixer sometime. Yes, we do. We'll, well I still need that. to lick the beaters. Okay, okay. flour, sugar, salt. No, Check. that's going to be the, the puppy's job. No. <laughs> that's mine. In a measuring cup, pour the buttermilk, beaten eggs, baking. Okay, flour. I think it's pretty well done. I'd show it to the camera, but it's very liquidy, and then okay. we'll just have chocolate. That's easy. Pour. You just go like this. See? That's what it looks like. Now it says to pour it into the sheet cake pan and cook it for 20 minutes. It's going to have to cook for um, a bake. Minute. You don't cook stuff. You bake it. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's all messed up on the... Uh... It's a little... Why don't you put the Faded. pan right over there? there. And fill it up over there. Okay. So actually, you gotta you gotta scrape this because it's it's dripping. Of course it is. It's a drip. Liquid. Okay. Just that. Actually, I thought you were gonna do it the other way because you need to bring the can bring it this way. Okay. Ow! I'm coming in. No, it's gonna drip on your iPad. <laughs> Chocolate iPad. And unplug. And lick. No. Chocolate yes. covered iPad. Hmm. <laughs> the newest I'm, delicacy. I'm sure there's a, a, a magician working okay. on that right now. Probably. It sounds like a um, good idea. Let's just pour. Right. You need to save the spatula. Right. I'm drowning in chocolate currently. And just pour it in there and hope it fits. Otherwise, we'll get on another pan. No, it looks like it's all going to fit. Or we can just eat it. Eat the batter. It fits. If that's so. If it didn't fit, it wouldn't fit in this bowl. Ah, good point. It fits in the bowl, so therefore it fits in yeah, the pan. It fits in the bowl. Logic. Let's see. It says, cut into squares, eat, and totally wig out all the fact you've just made the best chocolate sheet cake ever. Yeah, that's, that's... that's the title of the recipe. Oh, is it The really? best chocolate sheet cake ever. Oh, it is. No sheet, huh? <laughs> no, we're not using a sheet pan. See, this is what you're supposed to cook it in. I don't know if she's over. Nah, no, we want the 
shaker. But that's the pro that's the thing. Okay, so we're not, I think we're not using that. That is done. Okay, it's done. Here, no, I want to lick. Okay, fine. I want to get chocolate in my hair. Ah, shoot, it's on my iPad. No, wait, that's the that's the recipe. The recipe has chocolate on it. It, it looked like it looked like it was on the iPad. All right. Oh, okay, fine. Take that. Yeah. Off she goes to eat. Let me just grab the beaters. Okay, vanilla baking soda, eggs, buttermilk, boiling water, butter, cocoa. Yes, slimy boogers. So now we're just waiting for the oven to heat up because we forgot to heat up the oven. I had asked about that early on. You said no. I did not hear you ask about the oven. I so did. I turned it on. So I don't know if you want you to continue filming I because. I think we're going to take a break. Okay. Cake is almost ready. It is almost out of the oven, and the frosting should be ready by now. So let's just here. Let's put it on. Gotta whip it. Okay, oh, you're, you're supposed to be using that. No. Here's the frosting mix. Yeah. We gotta whip it until it's light and fluffy. Whip it good. Da 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 da. Doop doop. And yes, it'd be helpful if we actually plugged oh, it in the mixer. Oh, yeah, you need to plug it in, so scoot over. You know, we can't unplug the hot water pedal. What's the problem with these things being under the cabinetry? It's hard. You know, when I built this house, it was something that wasn't thought about, and the, 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 the guy that designed all that didn't okay. think about our convenience. Well, where else would you put it? You want to put it in the wall? You can't then, you can't then tie the wall. True. One second, I need to check and see how hard I'm supposed to be. I don't know how, like, how hard Now, the thing about the cake, it said 20 minutes in a sheet pan. We're not doing Oh, that's sheet right. Pan. You need to We did it for 30. We are doing it in a regular old 9 by 13 pan. So you need to get your so, toothpick out to test it. We got to take it out of the oven. Being so fluffy and light color. Gee, that's so Ooh, fluffy. it looks beautiful. It actually does. All right. So. Ow. Close this. Watch out. Hot stuff. Me. I need to get some back. Ooh, it does. Now, let me get the frosting going. Beat it on, too. Take one of these. Let's break it in half. No, use a regular toothpick, Sue. Uh, toothpicks are too short. No, they're not. They don't have to go all the way Beat through. Beat until light and fluffy. Done. Yeah. Let me guess, you can't hear much. Actually, it's not done on that side. What? It's only not done on that side. That is not a toothpick, by the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip it around. Don't burn it. It's not becoming the color she had. What do you think, about another five minutes? What? Or light colored. Light colored? Yes. I don't know. Light colored. Like a light brown. Instead of, well, chocolate colored. Oh, no, you can't come closer. What? You used dark chocolate, remember? Oh! <laughs> that would explain some things. But it's not fluffy. It's supposed to become like chocolate whipped cream. I don't know, maybe the type of chocolate? Yeah. Makes it like that? I don't know. I'm going to beat it. Hey. Uh... See? Here's what it looks Surely. like. Okay. I don't think it's going to get like whipped cream, honey. It's supposed to get kind of like whipped cream. Did I get start? Yes, you did. Okay, good. 
sometimes I forget to fix part. I'm gonna put it on a higher setting. Maybe that'll make it. No. I don't no. think a higher setting will help. I well, think... we have a frosting-like thing. Let's I think, see. I think it's fine. The chocolate ganache part failed. Well, we don't know what it's supposed to look like. This is our first yes, time I do know you. what it's supposed to look What's like. What's it supposed to look like? One second while I go find what it's supposed to look like. Let's see what the consistency looks like. Yeah, go look at it. Is it still hot? No, it's been in the fridge. You know it's been in the fridge, but... It's been in the fridge for the allotted amount of time, which was 40 minutes. All right. Here. I have a blurry picture of Ah, she has a blurry picture. Well, I mean, I had to pause the video, so this is the color it's supposed to be. Well, that's the color it's supposed to be if you use right. regular milk chocolate, not look, if you're using dark chocolate. What's it look like when she's pouring it? Frosting? Yeah. Do you have that? No. You don't have a picture for pouring it? No. Oh. I don't have a picture. I think okay. it's fine. Close enough. Besides, Anna, there are sides in the pan. It'll just pour over to the sides. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, wait. Anna, what? don't you have to let the cake cool before putting it on? Yes, you do. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, so we have another. Excuse me again. Another minute and a half to wait. Well, I still gotta whip this thing. I'm gonna try and make it look like she had it. So. Do do do. What? This is a big toothpick. That is the wrong tool. That is a knitting needle. That is a skewer. <laughs> I know it's a knitting needle. But if you get a regular toothpick, <laughs> duct tape. <laughs> yes, duct tape. Yeah, you can duct tape two of them together. Yeah, exactly. If you get a regular toothpick. It doesn't have to go all the way through to the bottom. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. You're just wasting no. kebabs. No. Okay. Speaking of kebabs, we should do that. Okay. At our next we got time. recipes. Yeah, kebabs. We have enough skewers. What happened to this? Ask your mother. What happened? I was trying to break it in half, and it didn't break. Go throw it away. Or give it to the cat. It's a wishbone. No, do not give that to the cat. No. Throw it away. Don't give it to the dog. Don't give it to any pet. Agar. Toothpick wars. See? I labeled it toothpicks. How much time? I'm gonna just stir that again. Alright. I would I would check it. 18 seconds. It's fine. 15 seconds. 14. 13. That's too high. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. See? Came Come out clean. clean. See? See? Came yeah. out clean. Hey, it's becoming a little bit more like the uh, whipped cream I put on my pot, like the topping that I put on my pies, it's becoming a little stiffer. So we'll just put the full house. I don't know what it's supposed to be like, but I'm going to frosting the drink. I'm going for stiff beaks on this thing. You're not going to get stiff beaks. Too bad. That's what. There's something that's like over mixing something. Yes. Yes. There yes. is. Here's what I got. That's actually good. That's yeah. Good. That's so it doesn't look exactly like hers, but I think it looks delicious. Okay. And now I want to try it. You have to wait until it's done. What about the, this thing? Okay. Can I look that? So we're gonna we're gonna take a break on this. Okay, taste test. Oh, did you did you um, get a picture of it? You yes, did. I did. Okay. It's chocolatey. I bet. And it's kind of more now. Oh, and it's whipped. All right. It's good. So we're gonna take a break. And come back when we're ready to put the icing on, all right? That is very chocolatey. So, we have the frosting. We waited for the cake to cool. We put it back in the fridge. Don't do that. It, this, it did this, whatever this is. It seized up, essentially. Yes. So, we should have frosted you, it while it was hot. I'm doing this. 
that. Gotta be gentle with oh, it. There you go. I is. No, go get some more. It'll work. Don't worry. It'll be fine. Turn on. It does not want to separate from the spatula. So you gotta be very careful with that. Okay. It is gonna be chocolate, chocolate, and more chocolate. I like chocolate. There you go. And chocolate and chocolate. Mm. All it's missing. And our friend Patrick is back. Again. All it's missing is chocolate chips. I mean, I could shred some chocolate and put it on top. That's all right. Wait, we have chocolate sprinkles. No. <laughs> no fingers in the frosting. Yes, Patrick is our guinea pig when we're trying new things. No bad effects yet, yet, yet. I'm getting. <laughs> So we're just going to spread it around while Anna digs it out of Five the roll. digs it out of the pot. Okay, scrape. Tastes really good. Scrape. scrape with what? Scrape the size of the pan. You had my spatula. Right. Turn. You're doing it. T turn the spatula. Hope that made it on. <laughs> that there. worked out well. Okay. <laughs> use use that side when you're scraping. There you go. That worked out well. It did. How dare you? Pretty easily. I said dare, not did. That is different. So we got some of this all over the sides of the um, pan and also on the stove. Wait. It tastes pretty good. Oh, there's some on the stove. See? There was a big piece right there, but I ate it. <laughs> okay, keep scraping. You almost got it. Scraping what? There's barely anything left. Well, I think oh, I see. It's stuck to the bottom of the pan um, there. That's why. Now my fingers are black. Shh. I think our oh, spatula yes. sucks. The, the, the spatula is starting to fall apart. The spatula is a terrible spatula. You've abused it too much. There, let me see. It looks like we got some stuck to the bottom of the pan. Yeah, that's the stuff that got melted. The stuff that melted, right. And then didn't, didn't get stored in. See, that's the stuff I... Yeah. Okay. Yes, things deteriorate over time. So yes. The In other words, we need new spatulas. Okay, so Anna, what are we doing I now? I thought melty chocolate was yummy. Eating? I don't know. Is this the last bit? Yes, this. And then we get to cut into it. That is the last bit. Yay. Let's get a wrap. Okay, I like the spatula. Okay, was there anything else you wanted to say to the camera? No, except don't freeze the frost. Don't put the frosting back in the fridge after stirring. You gotta spread gently across the top, so that every, Alrighty. so that every piece is covered. All right, let's eat. Mm, after dinner. Do I get the knife? You said we got to eat it before dinner. It's almost dinner time. <laughs> go. Stop. You need to wrap this up, though. Hey, I don't know what's your closing. Thanks for watching Geek in the Kitchen. See you next time.